so what we have here is the Hot Toys Sweeney Todd set. And um, I originally, you know, when I first saw this set, I thought this set was amazing. I thought this was an awesome set. Plus, I'm big into Johnny Depp films and uh, Tim Burton films. Um, except for Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows I was not a fan of because I'm a fan of the original TV show. And the movie was way too comedy because the TV show was nothing like that originally. But anyway, this set was something that when I got, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And I totally thought the chair was such a cool bonus because I thought the figure alone was cool. But as you can see, the chair is a beautiful piece anyway. But uh, in the movie... The chair was the coolest part of the movie, in my opinion, because of the way it actually operated and uh, it flipped over and, and dropped the victim into the dungeon or into the basement. They died or whatever. And um, so I thought it would be an awesome idea if I could somehow make this chair recline and go back. So what I did was I did. I took the whole entire chair apart. And let me tell you, there was a lot of pieces to disassemble. And let me also tell you that I would not recommend you doing it because you're going to break it in several places uh, at the very at the very least. Because uh, unfortunately, there's I, I can't stress this enough about Hot Toys, but they make things that are so close to functional, and then they just glue everything together, and it, it just it it drives me crazy that they do that. Um, they make all this awesome. You know the the gear work in that in that in that gearbox in there. That's all beautiful. It's all so well done, but everything is static and everything is glued together. And unfortunately, you can't take the stuff apart without breaking it because it will break on you. But um, I went and I actually made the whole thing function. Um, so the chair does completely drop back and flip over to drop the victim out which is freaking sick. I also mounted the chair to the base. Um, but uh, not only did I make the chair fully recline and it, it's really nice and smooth, but if you look really closely, I got the entire gearbox to function with the chair, which is really cool. And I actually got the uh, foot pedals to function as well. I don't know if you can see the foot pedals uh, going up and down, but I actually made the foot pedals work as well. But this was something that, this was a major project. I mean, it was an, an insane amount of work that went into this and fabricating new pistons because once I, once I took apart the whole gearbox, uh, basically nothing would go back together again properly because all of the pistons on the gears were broken. They had to be broken to be separated. So I had to take every single one of those little gears and drill drill all the parts out in the gears, all the pistons out. I had to fit new pistons in there. I had to... It was a whole mess of work that I'm sure most people for this particular custom wouldn't want to invest the time and effort. But since I'm a functional kind of custom guy, I'm not a kind of, you know, let me let me put some more dirt on the costume, now it's customized. I like to customize stuff to give it function, and this was a perfect candidate because this is just too awesome now. Look at that. Look at the way that functions. It's beautiful. Well, I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I just wanted to show that if somebody is this ambitious and really wanted to take on a, a massive custom like this, it is possible. It does work, and... Everything is there. I did the only things I had to add and fabricate myself were actual new pistons for all of the gears to run on. Um, beside that, it was just a whole lot of careful disassembling, planning, fabricating, and reassembling. And and uh, like I said, if if you if you want to do something like this, you know it can be done. But man, a lot of a lot of stuff is going to break on you. It's just a matter of how well can you put it back together. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, man. This this piece is this is absolutely my bar none, no comparison. This is absolutely my favorite Hot Toys accessory. Now it goes way beyond the Ghost Rider bike. It goes way beyond whatever. This is just way too cool on its own. 
uh, the chair, the actual functioning chair. It's pretty sick. Oh, and it really, it's it's awesome too because they happen to uh, make the top cushion heavy, so it's weighted, so it does hold the position too when it's reclined and the body falls into the trap door. The only thing I didn't do yet was the footrest also had a mechanism which it moved up and down, and I'm going to add that later, but that's easy compared to all this stuff that went on here. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you like it, man. Jason from The Bomb Show. Peace.